Marcon's, which is a multiple antibiotic resistance uh, coagulase negative staphylococcus, is a infection that can be present in more than uh, eighty percent of the people uh, that have a mold toxicity. Uh, it is part of uh, a complex health issues uh, where people are resistant to antibiotics because of a concept called biofilm, where the uh, body has a film that prevents the antibiotic from getting into the bug. Okay, so it can cause you to suffer uh, a lot, especially with persistent inflammation, mold toxicity, and you know when you have these bugs that protects themselves with this biofilm, and where the antibiotics cannot reach. And this is why it's called antibiotic resistant. Then you're always being under attack by these. Uh, bugs that release toxins. And so over time, uh, the six regulatory circuits that help you to uh, live a vibrant life is compromised. And adrenal fatigue is very common. Uh, you have um, a brain fog, uh, a breathlessness, some heart palpitations, uh, reduced exercise capacity, insomnia, low blood sugar, uh, you have to eat frequently. Uh, you just don't have the endurance, a uh, low libido. And so uh, the mold, uh, as well as the staff, are very common. And then we have to kind of look at both of these things uh, because the results of Marcon's, not only uh, will it cause adrenal issues and fatigue, it also can cause leaky gut, cause mood swings, cause constipation, diarrhea, uh, etc., sleep problem, mood swings. So ultimately, it comes back to inflammation. Because uh, mold, as well as these uh, bugs, they secrete uh, toxins. That the toxins, if it's not able to be processed by your body, will cause inflammation. Okay, and so it also this marcon also affects your pituitary uh, hypothalamus. Okay, and then results in weight gain, anti uh, anxiety, depressions, uh, loss of muscle mass, uh, etc. So identification of uh, uh, of Marcon is done through a deep uh, nasal swab, and your doctor uh, will do it. Okay, and so uh, you know the uh, in, in most cases uh, the symptoms uh, are being treated by antibiotic, and in, in most uh, health practitioner will give you different forms after they do a sensitivity uh, test uh, to see uh, which one is uh, applicable. Okay, now uh, removing the mold is hundred percent is oftentimes uh, almost impossible, okay? And so you have to learn to manage uh, your body. So at home, you have to use a, a HEPA filter, for example, to reduce insult into your lungs. If there is a pituitary damage, then you may have to look at hormonal replacement. You obviously have to increase your diet with uh, reduce uh, inflammation uh, food, uh, no fried food, for example, eat more raw food, eat more uh, low sugar food, uh, healthy fat, for example, you all have to improve your immune system and managing your stress. Uh, you know, to look at the supplements such as vitamin C. Uh, the one I have called liponano C is particularly great uh, because it has a special liponano delivery system. Uh, nasal sprays uh, such as the, those with the distilled water uh, can be helpful to relieve for symptoms. Uh, colloidal silver can be deployed. Some people have found it successful in doing that. Um, the uh, long-term use, however, uh, of any uh, nasal spray should be uh, cautioned, okay? Uh, in closing, you have to get to the root of the problem and remove the mold, uh, eating food that is uh, anti-inflammatory, explore the use of nasal spray that can kill bacteria on a short term. Naturally, natural support, the vitamin C, and a special kind of, uh, lick, uh, of fish oil, uh, which is one of the best anti-inflammatory agents, uh, is good. But the fish oil comes in many, many kinds and many, many potencies. Uh, you have to be careful of any capsules or, or pill form because the encapsulation process uh, may involve heat. Uh, in some cases, that can neutralize the benefit uh, non uh, liquid forms such as those in the pills oftentimes has been processed and it's not as good and many of these also contain uh, mercury. 
So um, you, you try to focus on really high quality fish oil. Uh, I formulated one for my uh, clients. Uh, we use uh, a um, nitrogen pack type uh, 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 mechanism to reduce uh, oxygen. It's liquid in form, so it's pure. It's high potency, so you don't have to take so much. Remember, too much fish oil uh, can be uh, blood thinning, uh, so you have to watch out. Okay, and if you take it at night, oftentimes it also helps you to sleep because a lot of this inflammation uh, happens in the middle of the night when your body is recirculating. So having that uh, stability will help. Many people cannot tolerate uh, fish oil. Uh, but the one I have is, 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 is quite welcomed by many. Uh, it's kind of lemon flavor, but it's nice and pure. And you can uh, take it with food, uh, and then uh, I think you will find it very helpful. So that's something to consider, okay? Because otherwise, you know, you're not going to be able to get rid of mold, and those all, all these items are very difficult. So you need to strengthen your body, okay?